Hey, Marcus Conti reporting. So I was watching uh, the, 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 the Trump dust up. This is big news. Donald J. Trump is a, is a national hero for standing up against the FBI and the CIA. He threw them under the bus on the national stage. Wow. Donald Trump is a hero for this. This is, this is of the people, by the people, for the people. Donald J. Trump, President of the United States, goes public and tells the world right to the, to the, to the Russian, the people that these jerk-off Democrats and Republican scumbags have been accusing of stealing an election for nearly two years now. Donald Trump goes right on, right face to face with Putin sitting across the table and says, yep, the FBI is fucking scumbags. Yep, 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 yep. So I'm going to read from uh, BBC. They're all, everybody's reporting on it, but I'll just read from BBC. So there's, um, what was going on? Trump sides of Russia against FBI at Helsinki Summit. <laughs> right. He did. He did side with, with Russia. Why? Because he's right. Look, this is, I'll, I'll tell you my, my take on it. Let me just read a little bit. U.S. President Donald Trump has defended Russia over claims of interference in the 2016 presidential election. Yeah, it's a fake story. It's a fake story that the Democrats concocted, you know, and the FBI gave him cover. And for, for the Right, so it's a fake story. So he's right. To, he's right to, uh, to 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 defend Russia. This is like you know what it is. It's like this: the the summit between Trump and Putin. Right, the the conversations. It's like it's the equivalent of two adults sitting at the table. Right, the two adults and they're having a they're having a conversation that you know that that w a sensible conversation. And then they got you got these children yelling and screaming in the background, right? Right? Trump's got a bunch of his young children are screaming and carrying on and making a nuisance of themselves, and he tells them shut up. Well, he quiets them down, or he disciplines them, and he doesn't turn around and blame the other adult. See, that's what that's what Trump did. And rather than blame Putin for the for the fake story, because that's what you're supposed to do as a politician in America, right? Call them, call it what it is. He's been saying it all along, right? That, that the FBI is corrupt. Comey, McCabe, all these guys are corrupt, right? So after face-to-face -face talks with Russia, Russian President Vladimir Putin, Mr. Trump contradicted U.S. intelligence agencies and said there had been no reason for Russia to meddle in the vote. Mr. Putin reiterated that Russia had never interfered in U.S. affairs. The two men held nearly two hours of closed door talks, closed door talks, in the Finnish capital Helsinki on Monday. Of course, there was because there is no, there's no, there's no evidence. <laughs> there's no evidence of Russian meddling. There's plenty of evidence that the story was concocted because the Democrats got caught cheating in 2016. All the evidence points to that. So. It's it's a, it's really just an incredible ongoing cover up, right? That we're supposed to believe the corrupt FBI and the corrupt CIA because they say so, but they don't give us any evidence. That's that's what that's what the government wants you to believe. And 80, 70, 80% of the people of America now know that that the that the believe in their heart and know that the evidence supports the fact that there was no Russian meddling, that it was the Democrats all along, led by the Clinton campaign. So, at a news conference after the summit, President Trump was asked if he believes his own intelligence agencies or the Russian president when it comes to allegations of meddling in the elections. President Putin said it's not Russia. This is Trump speaking. President Putin said it's not Russia. I don't see any reason why it should be, he replied. <laughs> U.S. agent, U.S. intelligence agencies concluded in 2016 that Russia ha was behind an effort to tip the scale of the election, the U.S. election against Hillary Clinton, with a stated, with a state-authorized campaign of cyber attacks and fake news stories planted on social media. There was no fake 
news stories planted on social media. There was no cyber attacks. That was, who the hell knows? The, the cyber attacks, again, We, I mean, it, it's, look, the gaslighting works because they have people talking about it still at on the national stage. Who the hell knows what just went on in, in the Helsinki summit? Nobody cares. All, they, all they're talking about, still talking about the same bullshit, right? That, that, that Trump is siding with Putin because he won't he won't sell the fake Russia hack the election narrative uh, at the summit. Right? So what was U.S. U.S. react? What has the U.S. reaction been? Right? That's a question that the BBC is asking. Well, it depends on who you ask. Did you ask the people, or are you going to ask the jerk off politicians that that are going to lie and cheat and and corroborate the fake Russia story? Who are you going to ask, BBC? They're going to ask the politicians, so let's see what they say. In a strongly worded statement, U.S. House Speaker Paul Ryan said, Mr. Trump must appreciate that Russia is not the ally, not our, our ally. There is no moral equivalence between the United States and Russia, which remains hostile to our most basic values and ideals, he said, adding that there was no question Moscow had interfered in the 2016 election. Paul Ryan, cut, get out. God, God, gone. Bye bye. Bye bye. These guys are fucking liars, right? They're lying. Why? It's the oligarchy, right? There's, there's got to be, you can't have a competitor like, like Russia after the, the brilliant, why don't you talk about the brilliant uh, uh, World Cup they just hosted? It was fucking fantastic, right? People loving Russia right now, right? So, there is no, Russia's not a hostile nation. In 1950, in 60, coming out of World War II, when there was this huge power vacuum after the war, right, in Europe, of course, Russia was, a, was, a, was competing for the same pieces of property. It's not the case anymore. It's a red scare. It's a red scare. It's a fucking red scare. Right? Senior Republican John McCain said it was a disgraceful performance by a U.S. president. No prior president has ever abashed himself more objectly before a tyrant, Mr. McCain said. So Putin's a tyrant. Okay. These guys got to go, man. This whole fucking got to clean out all these jack-off, you know, politicians. This, this also raises the question why Bernie Sanders buys into the Russia narrative. Because there must be something amongst these politicians that the FBI is like the sacred cow, the intelligence agencies. Ooh, all the, with all their intelligence, when they say that there's a problem, that, that everybody has to fall in line, you know, that like, like oh yeah, Russia did it. So you have to believe Russia did it. And if you don't believe Russia did it, then you're a, a traitor, right? Bernie Sanders fell into that trap. It's a shame. Another senior Republican, Senator Lindsey Graham, who is a member of the State Armed Services Committee, tweeted, that it is a missed opportunity to firmly hold Russia accountable for the 2000, 2016 meddling. It's like a fucking game to these people. It, it's like, it's sport. The country is sinking in, in economic despair. The people are sinking in economic despair. The corporations are getting fatter and fatter. And these guys, for them, it's, it's just sport. Right? In a series of tweets, jerk off Senator Democrat, I put that part in, Jerkoff Senator Democrat leader Chuck Schumer said, Mr. Trump's actions had strengthened our ad adversaries while weakening our defenses and those of our allies. Fuck you, Chuck Schumer. The U.S. Director of National Intelligence, Dan Coats, also issued a statement saying that the intelligence community had been clear about Russia's ongoing pervasive attempts to undermine U.S. democracy. There's no evidence, right? There's no evidence. They're all lying in stereo. There's no evidence that supports that. All of the evidence is contrary to that. Is contrary to that. The people have seen it. We saw it with our own eyes. Rigged elections. Trump responded by tweeting that he had great confidence in our intelligence people, adding, I also recognize that in order to build a brighter future, we cannot exclusively focus on the past. As the world's two largest nuclear powers, we must get along. All right. So what else? What else is going on here? This is fucking hysterical. 
before their encounter started, analysts of before their encounter started. All right, so that that's enough. So Trump is Trump is on the national stage, holding holding our FBI and CIA and broken Congress and Senate wholly responsible for the fake Russian narrative to the very person that they accused of meddling where there's no evidence that that there was a, a meddling that that somehow that Russia took over Facebook and persuaded everybody to vote against Hillary Clinton in favor of Trump it's not what happened they the 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 the, the the onslaught was against the Bernie Sanders supporters. They attacked the Bernie Sanders supporters with venomous aggression so that they would flip and, and support Hillary Clinton. And when they didn't support Hillary Clinton, right, the, the, the Bernie people, the people that were supporting Bernie Sanders were attacking Hillary Clinton and Hillary Clinton's stupid, dumb people and ultimately voted for Donald Trump. So... This is, um, it, you know, it's it's disgraceful. It's a disgraceful thing. Donald Trump is a fucking hero for doing that, right? He really is. I mean, he doesn't, I mean, is it politics for Trump? Eh, sort of, but he, I believe Trump believes the truth. Like, he, Trump knows the truth. Trump knows the truth more than anyone because he's the subject of the attack. He's a direct recipient of, a direct target of the of this Russian bullshit story, right? That Seth Rich died for, that Eric Braverman is still in hiding for, that that Bernie Sanders got the knife in his back for, that two hundred and fifty million dollars was stolen from the Bernie Sanders supporters. Right? Stolen. Right? That that our elections had been rigged from New York all the way to California in favor of Hillary Clinton against Bernie Sanders. That that the Podesta emails and all of the all of the shenanigans that were going on in, inside the DNC to elevate Donald Trump as the Pied Piper, the Pied Piper strategy, right? And 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 because they thought if they elevated Trump, they 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 would, it would be an easy win. So that's all. I just wanted to go on the record and say that uh, I support uh, Trump in doing this. He's he's telling the truth. He's telling the truth from from the top. Right from the top of the ladder. Now fall in line, FBI. Why don't you believe our president? Why don't you support our the ele the democratically elected president of the United States? Right. And if they don't, they're traitors. My name is Marcus Conti, investigative journalist, founder of the Bird Party. <laughs> and what else? What else? Oh yeah, and uh, uh, independent candidate for the United States Senate. I think I said that twice. Peace out.